Welcome back, everybody. I'm Peter Clausey, and welcome to Investor Intel for what will be a fascinating interview with our old friend, Dev, from Fission 3.0. Hi, Dev. Welcome back. Well, thanks for having me back, Peter. Why do we call it Fission 3.0? Well, because we first spun out our Canadian assets of a company called Strathmore Minerals. We call it Fission Energy. We made a discovery with the help of our Korean uh, utility called KEPCO. They funded it. We made a discovery. We sold that along with other. Huge win for the shareholders at Fission 1.0. Yeah. So we, Fission 2.0 came along. Well, then once we, we sold that piece to Lucas, we took the, the west side of the basin and started a company called Fission Uranium. Um, and then when we had made that discovery, we took all the exploration assets, put them into Fission 3. Maybe we could use a better name, but it's our third time around as a team. Right. And thanks to us two weeks ago, we have our third discovery as well. So massive news flow the last few weeks, incredible content, but it's being driven by that quality team that you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I kept doing all these speeches and you've heard them. Number one is people, good projects and having the money to do so. And the last point I always said was discoveries matter because discoveries don't go up. 10, 20 percent. They don't lift up with the boat. They go yeah. up five times and or 10 times, 20 times, depending on the size of it. Right. Um, proved to be true. And we're seeing that right now. I know you can't comment on your stock price, but hey, I can. Uh, <laughs> we were looking at five, six, seven cents, and now we're looking at 30 on massive volume. And yeah. I saw that you've announced a bought deal. Right. We've announced a deal for five million minimum may get adjusted we'll see as you know you go out there with the minimum it's a bot deal so we know it's going to get done um but we don't know what will happen but the bottom line is between the seven million we have hard cash and this we certainly have more than enough money runway for next year right. um drilling um and as we get more results you know our strategy has been we've got a great discovery lots of widths um and it has six over sixty five thousand counts per second um, we, we, every machine is different. Every scintillometer is how they um, work it, uh, calibrate, calibrate. But they, um, but we use ours before show up to fifty percent uranium. I know when ISO did theirs, they were twenty to seventy. So when they saw, when you see sixty-five thousand counts per second, you don't know what it really means until you get the assays. But history says this, so we know it's high grade and you know, larger, pretty good pieces. Um, it's got width. Um, it's also on land, Peter, which allows us to drill all year long, except when it, the springtime it thaws. We don't have to thicken the ice in the winter like we had to do with Triple R. Um, so it's all year round. And also, this is still very, very shallow. It's 200 meters compared to most uh, projects in the area. They start at 500 meters and go down. Mm -hmm. So we know it's shallow, high grade, large, and assays and more drilling will tell us how big and etc. The fact that the financing is a bought deal shows that the street has a lot of confidence. The house is risking its personal money yeah. on you and your team saying, here's $5 million. We hope we can backfill. That shows a lot of confidence in you. And at 45% premium. Which is flow through, right? Yeah, it's charity flow through, right? Um, there's no warrant. Um, if you go back, there aren't many deals that were done in the last year that didn't have uh, a warrant attached to the flow through. I fought against that for weeks. Once the discovery was made, I said, no, we're not doing a warrant. And that was obviously, you know, you're, you know, some um, people out there who um, think they're, you know, bankers of last resort. Um, so, uh, but they're underwriters, that's their job. But we managed to get a premium and no warrant. Fantastic, right? So what are the next steps? Up in the basin, drill away? Absolutely. We've got, we made the discovery hole. We made another hole, show that it continued. Um, so the next thing is we got two more holes coming for Christmas. Um, and then also we hope to get our assays back. We were told by the labs that we, um, they're not very busy. So they said within two to three weeks, we sent them 
you know, a week ago. So we figure in the next week or two, we should get our results back for Christmas. So we have good news flow, hopefully coming between now and Christmas. You know, some things you don't control. One of the things we're, we are struggling with up there is the overburden. It's quite tough. And so we've had to use sonic drones, a bit more costy, but also trying to figure out how to get down to our targets. Because when there's hard ground, it can move the rig over. You remember, you're going down, you know, uh, angle. meters. You move it out just a tiny bit and you can miss your targets. Yep. So, but we have lots of news coming with this funding. Thanks to Red Cloud, Sprott, and uh, Haywood. We have some good money coming to us um, that will take the risk out of it. When you first get the deposit, you don't know where it's going up, down, whatever. And so you drill all around it with small step outs. Um, and then when you do, once you think you've got an idea where it's headed, then you can throw a 50 yard bomb, but till then you don't. Um, thankfully, um, as a CEO, I know we have got a team that has done it twice before. Yep. They had a good discovery at Triple R. They knew exactly where to go. Um, we had a discovery at the J zone on Waterbury. So we have got two experiences of high grade discoveries of how to watch how it moves and then, then try to try to see where it's going to go. So the real purpose of the next while is to understand what we have. Because once you've got it, you can predict where it's going to go. You try, right? What I found uh, surprising when I was getting ready for this is you have 300 million shares out. Yeah. But, quote, only a 90 million market cap, which sounds like a lot of money. That's not a lot of money. No. No, not at all. When you think of... You know, um, we need a lot of holes, but if you look at fission uranium, they were on almost a dollar not long ago. So that was seven, eight hundred million market cap, <laughs> but you got to spend money to get there. Yes. Um, you know, look at Aero, look at ISO. Uh, it all depends how big it grows. Is it going to be 40, 50 million someday or will it be a hundred? It all depends. But, you know, I don't, I, what I know is it's, we got a super good start. We're starting on the 50 yard line. We still got to take it down the other end, but um, this is the only discovery hole um, compared to anything in the last, you know, 15, 20 years where we have over 65,000 counts per second. Everything else is about 15,000. And there's some good slides out there. People have put out uh, people ask me to compare, and I say, I can't, but I can tell you what the past was. So it's the only discovery hole with 65,000 counts per second over a couple of meters. Um, and so we know it's something is there. We'll take time to figure that out. Um, people got to be patient. You're going to miss on some holes because you're taking risks. High grade uranium, very, very, um, uh, very, very, how would you say, uh, tricky, right? Yeah. Um, you, you can literally be five meters away and not get there. You can miss. So yep. you got to be careful because these are blobs of uranium. They're not why disseminated like you would uh, uranium might be in the States um, or parts of Africa, you know, where it's very low grade, but it's all spread out. So yeah, you can take more like a porphyry in the Athabasco. Yeah. Okay. So the symbol is FUU. You have yeah. cash in the bank. Plus you're going to have more cash in the bank. Right. You have a really good news flow and only a $90 million market cap. So 2023 is shaping up to be good. Yeah. Look, no promises, but you've got a great technical team that's done this before, yep. a great discovery, and you got cash, right? So we don't have to count on bullish markets. You know, um, that's what you need. Great property, great management, and money to have runway, you know, uh, to get things done. So that's, I, I think we're, we're in good shape. That's all I can say. Nobody knows where we go, but I like, I like where we are. Everybody, this is Peter Clausey from Investor Intel. Fission 3.0 FUU. Bye, everybody.